Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome to this week's Product Blast Summary, your weekly update on the comings and goings in the world of mortgages. Uh, this week's video is sponsored by Oldermore. Oldermore have increased their maximum loan to value to 90% for new build houses and 85% on new build flats. The general theme remains new launches, rate reductions and criteria enhancements. We'll start this week with shared ownership with the mortgage lender. Customers with smaller deposits may be able to buy a home through the shared ownership scheme if they don't have the whole deposit or can't meet their full monthly mortgage payments for a home that meets their needs. It means that they own a share of the property rather than the whole property. TML shared ownership range is available for properties with an EPC rating of A to C with mortgages available up to 95% of the share being purchased. It is subject to a maximum 75% loan to value of the open market value on the property. There are some eligibility requirements that need to be checked before your client can be considered. Uh, please click the link in the post for more details on that. Next up is Newcastle Building Society who have refreshed and launched new variable rate self build and custom build products. Um, and the key highlights of these are an addition of products with no ERCs and rate reductions of up to 0.46%. Over at Progressive Building Society, there have also been a raft of changes, including maximum LTV on uh, former housing executive product properties. Um, this has been increased from 80% to 90% loans of value. Co-ownership, um, a deposit is no longer required. 100% of equity share is allowed. Um, a tiered rate structure has been introduced. Um, and remortgage and additional borrowing maximum loan to value has been increased from 85 to 90% loan to value. And um, a joint mortgage sole proprietor applications Maximum loans of value has been increased from 80 to 85% loan to value and a change in evidence of income for loan to values of 75 to 90% loan to value. If you're using the applicant's basic income only, just one pay slip is required, but three months bank statements are still required. And finally, a foster care income. Uh, two years proof of income is now required. It was previously three. Um, Barclays recently held um, an economic webinar. A bite-sized summary of this is available on the in Industry Insights page on the link in the post. Um, Barclays are holding another webinar which is focused on new build and takes place on the 27th of February in line with uh, the National New Homes Week which kicks off on the 26th. And finally, Melton have announced a revision of their mortgage product range, including rate reductions across their credit repair range by up to 0.49%. In addition, they have launched a new self-build product with no ERCs. It is a two-year fixed product at 6.35%, and it's available up to 75% loan to value with a £199 application fee and a 0.5% completion fee. And that is it for today. I wish you all a very great week and, um, and any questions on how Brilliant Solutions can help support you, your business and your clients, please give me a call on the number on the next screen. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.